This video will demonstrate the process used to create an assessment in Blackboard and add questions to the test using the random block and question set tools. To create a test, expand the Course Tools area of the control panel and select Test Surveys and Pools. Open the Tests page. Click Build Test. Provide a name for the test. I will use the name Sample Test. Press Submit to continue. Now you can build the test by adding questions. The Create Question menu is used to create and add new questions to the test. Use the Reuse Question menu to add existing questions to a test. Existing questions will be in a question pool or another test. A random block will pull a specified number of questions at random from a question pool. The random block does not pull questions from other tests. Click Random Block. Select the Question Pool from the list of available pools. I will select the Windows Question Pool. You will also need to specify question types. I will select Multiple Choice. The preview area updates to show all available questions in the pool that meet the question type specified. Press Submit to add the random block to the test. The random block contains 17 total questions. Set the number of questions to display. This is the number of questions that will be pulled at random and shown to a student while taking the test. I will set it to 5. So a student will see any 5 of the 17 questions in the pool. Set the number of points per question. I will leave each question at 10 points. A question set is similar to a random block in that a specified number of questions are pulled at random for use in a test. However, unlike a random block, you are able to hand pick the questions that make up the total number of questions available. A question set can also pull questions from other tests. Click Create Question Set to add a question set to a test. A list of all available questions in the course is displayed in the preview area. Narrow the results by selecting only the pool or test from which you want to pull questions. I will select the Excel Question Pool and deselect the All Tests options so that no tests are selected. The preview area updates to show only questions in the Excel pool. Narrow the results further by selecting Question Types. I will select Multiple Choice and True False. Now you can select the individual questions you want to include in the question set. Place a check mark in the checkbox next to each question you want to include in the set. Press Submit to add the question set to the test. The question set contains 16 total questions. Set the number of questions to display. I will set it to 5. So a student will see any 5 of the 16 questions in the pool. Set the number of points per question. I will leave this at 10 points per question. This sample test now contains one random block and one question set. Each contains five questions, so students will see a total of 10 questions when taking the test. The questions will be randomly drawn for each student, so no two students will receive the exact same lineup of questions. 